Alicia Taylor and I am a school teacher here in Atlanta, Georgia. I um, teach for Atlanta Public Schools and I was very fortunate for the last two summers to uh, visit Ghana and the first summer that I was there I was able to um, spend some time teaching and researching and observing at the Youth Institute of Science and Technology. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, what is your name? My name is Esther Falcon. How old are you, Esther? I'm nine years old. Nine years old. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Agogwa Church in Ghana. In Ghana. What part of Ghana is that? Ashanti region. Okay, so you're Ashanti? Yeah. Uh, how long have you been in America? Five days. Five days? Yeah. And uh, so far, how's your experience? Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, but I don't like, I don't like the food. You don't like the food? Yeah. I don't like hmm. It. What is your favorite meal? Oh, back in Ghana? Yes. Plantain and quantum mystery. Plantain and quantum mystery. But over here, is there anything that you like or have tried that you know? Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. Um, tell me though, Esther, since you're just coming from Ghana, what experiences do you think you've seen in Ghana that differentiates from those over here, like cultural differences? <sighs> here in America, they eat everything with six spoons, forks, knives. But back to Ghana, we eat everything with our hands, which is good. Because when you eat with sticks, you must hold the sticks carefully. Because when it slips from your hands, you disgrace yourself. Mm. So when you eat with your hands, you are very free. Like fufu? You like fufu? Yeah, uh-oh, yeah. Mm, what soup? What's your favorite soup? Granola soup. Oh, that's what's up. What's up. Okay, now tell me. Um, what do you think you can actually learn here that you'll be able to take back to Ghana and share with other children in Ghana? Okay. I came here to learn more about technology. So I will learn more about technology, go back to Ghana and share with my police back in Ghana. Now it says that you attend a school in Ghana called the YIST. Yes. Tell me a little bit about YIST. Okay. YIST was founded in 2003 by the Africans, Americans, and the Diaspora as the Girls Institute of Science and Technology. The mission of the Youth Institute of Science and Technology is to ensure that students learn the skills necessary to become scientists, engineers, doctors, nurses, environmental researchers, and entrepreneurs. Hmm. So, since you've been here, have you had any experience, anything that's fascinated you as far as technology? Have you had anything that's, you know, fascinated you yet? No. No, nothing at all? Maybe later. Maybe later, because you've only been here for, what, five days, right? Yeah. Okay, now, I heard you were going to be doing some speaking engagements. Yeah. Have you spoken anywhere so far? Yeah, yeah. I've spoken in the Alicia's mother's church, and after that, I went to her father's church to speak. How did it go? Oh, just fantastic. It's fantastic. Yeah. Good. Now tell me, African Americans and Africans, I, I guess there's some difference in their cultures. What do you think you've noticed that's different between Africans and African Americans culture wise? Um, Africans Americans, let me say they are clean. Mm. But Africans are dirty. Mm. Give me an example, like, what do you mean dirty? Okay. Africans Americans. Uh, maybe, for example, when someone is staying in the car, eating in the car, when you finish, he will put it in the car because, unfortunately, when you throw it outside the car and the police catch him or her, she will pay for it so she doesn't want to lose money. So she will put it in the car. But in Ghana, mm -hmm. when someone is eating in the car, because the police people, I don't know, I don't if they don't do their job well or what even if a police is study here in my car is here when i finish eating i can throw the thing and to go and hit the police the police can't say anything so africans and americans are very good they okay. are clean now um what I, I didn't ask you this but what do you want to what do you see yourself being what's your future goal like what what kind of job do you see yourself oh doing in the future? i just want to be a bank manager you want to be a bank manager yeah, of okay course. you want to do a lot of money <laughs> that's what's up what do you hope you can actually give Esther? Like, what do you think you can, she can actually like, you know, um, experience or learn from being here with you? 
I definitely want her to be able to embrace the culture and to understand that America is, um, is an amalgamation of many cultures. In terms of the science and technology piece, which I understand is a part of the vision of the school, we want to expose her uh, more to opportunities in which she can engage with um, science initiatives and technological initiatives that are going on right here within our community. And hopefully she can create some networks that can be ongoing in life um, that she can use throughout her life, even as she um, becomes an adult and that she always feel like she has not only personal connections here in Atlanta, but very profitable and very lucrative business connections that um, could manifest themselves in years to come. Well, also, I want to commend you for what you're doing, because what you've done right now is kind of like helping bridge the gap between African Americans and Africans. And this is something that I feel is very beautiful, what you've done. So, Esther, you now are here with your new family and everything. I hope you have a wonderful time. I will come back later. And hopefully, you'll have a lot more to tell me about technology, because there are some fascinating things here I think you'll experience. So, hopefully, they'll blow you away, because you seem like it's hard to, it's hard to impress you. So we shall see.